All right, good morning, Katandins. Uh, I'm gonna go out and ride today, my last ride of the year. It is December, it's day after Christmas. And my wife is supposed to go out with me, but the temperature in Stockton, I think it's right now, it's like 41 degrees. So it's too cold for her to go out on a tandem. So today, we're just gonna go out, uh, ride solo. And the sun was out earlier, unfortunately, uh, by the time I got ready and uh, all dressed up, it got cloudy. So hopefully it won't rain. Well, the uh, forecast is uh, supposed to be cloudy and sunny. So hopefully it stays that way. All right. Good morning, and we'll see you later. This is one of the only climbs we have in Stockton. It's an overpass. It's a railroad track overpass. But if you have no ride, even this short of a climb is hard. I haven't had any ride in four weeks now, or maybe more. So this climb gets hard. Medyo pag matagal na tayo walang ride. Kahit ganito lang, hahirapan pa rin. <laughs> so, but, oh well. Anyway, we just have to be thankful na nakakaride pa rin tayo. Woo! Yes, mga katandem! Merry Christmas! Unfortunately, my wife is not here with me. Kasi... She thinks it's very cold out here. It is cold. I have three layers of winter clothes. Stockton is a farm area. So what you see here are grapes. Medyo malamig na kaya wala na yung ano tap dahon niya. Uh, usually ni harvest nila yung grapes mga August, September, December na ngayon so yeah, wala na. Okay, back to riding. Mile eight on eight mile road in Stockton. So, if you know your history, why do they call this road eight mile? And I think there's a movie about uh, eight mile. And uh, hopefully it will stay like this. Planning to do a 30 mile ride. Just a short one. Because I haven't had any ride in a while. Okay, I will see you later again. Okay, we are now in the uh, Walnut Plantation or Walnut areas of the San Joaquin Valley. See all these walnuts? This is like miles and miles of walnuts in this area. Lots and lots of walnuts. And enjoying the beautiful day. Although the sun is not all the way out because uh, the, there are still clouds, but it's getting better and warmer. It's like in the 50s now. Hey. So, mga katandem, dahil medyo mabagal na yung wituhan muna. Gusto ko lang ipaalam sa inyo na nag-start ako mag-bike 1983 Kalalabas ko lang sa military sa US Air Force at uh, may namit ako na isang Filipino na may hindi sa ride bike ride so uh, naingan nyo ako kaya bumili ako na bike yung pinakaunang bike ko is uh, uh, 59 dollars so sinasabi nila noon na 10 speed bike kung nabutan nyo pa yung 10 speed bike yung shifter nya sa handlebar nabili ko sa Montgomery Rewards buwang tuwa ako kaya nung sumali sa a century ride yung kaibigan ko, sumama ako I only did 50 
50 kilometers I think 32 miles Tapos, sa umpisa, bilis ko Kala ko ayos to, madali lang Maya maya, after mga 10 miles Ang dami na nang nag-overtake sa akin Kala ko, mabilis na ako So yung mga nag-overtake sa akin, mga babae Sabi ko, wow, bilis-bilis nila, bakit kaya? So, di naalala ko yung bike ko na $59 was made of steel Yung talagang mabigat na steel So, after 10 miles, yung bike, pabigat ng pabigat Kahit the same uh, weight <laughs> So, yun Ah... Uh, Pagkatapos ng 50 kilometers na ride ko Sabi ko sa misis ko Day Punta tayo ng bike shop Siya bakit? Bili tayo ng tunay na bike <laughs> Kaya uh, After that Bumili ako ng uh, uh, Real bike At that time uh, Yung shifter niya Sa down tube pa But it was already uh, At that time 6 speed So 12 speed uh, from Swin, it was a touring bike from Swin. Na nabili ko. We had to drive mga one hour away, dahil nandoon yung uh, magandang uh, bike shop. So after that, so not so not na tuli tuli na nung na nakabili ako ng magandang bike. Panay na po sa panay ko nang ano magride ng century ride hanggang nakaride ako ng uh, metric century. Uh, century yung 100 miles and then from there on talagang puro upgrade na ka upgrade ako ng after ng prelude ko bumili ako ng Cannondale yung pinakaunang sloping ng Cannondale uh, I think it was R500 yun ang dinala ko sa Pilipinas at uh, nung na uh, ko to nagustuhan naman ng Kaibigan ko na namit doon At pininta ko sa kanya Then after that Bumili na naman ako ng ano Bago, basta after nung First swing ko Ang dami ko ng bike na Nabibili Kahit mga klase Until Nakabili ako ng uh, Titanium It was a uh, the, I think the lower model of the uh, uh, titanium nano yung catalyst kasi namit ko yung grupo ng taga ilay sila Al Villamil uh, Leo puro sila naka titanium kaya bili din ako <laughs> hindi ko na hindi ako nagpatalo bili rin ako ng titanium and then mumili ng uh, yung tri-spoke na carbon Kaya bilis-bilis nun, ano, maganda ng bike ko, nag-race ako, Criterium, road, road race, at namit ko si Manuel Renante. Noong namit ko si Manuel Renante, champion ng uh, Marlboro Tour sa atin at saka participant ng uh, race across America. Okay, our favorite rest stop the football in stockton is closed oh, no. and there's a sign that says uh closed until mid-april so i guess uh i'm out okay. of luck more walnuts walnuts here walnuts there walnuts all over the place we are in walnut country back to our cycling history so oh, after i no. met uh, uh, Maui Renante or Manuel Renante uh, tuloy tuloy na race, criterium, road race kung saan saan na kami nakalabot uh, that's how I improved a lot and uh, uh, pero unfortunately in my whole time of uh, racing, dalawang beses lang ako naka naka podium yung una sa second uh, Fremont it was an early bird training race 
the only reason why I got second is <laughs> yung yung sarap ko na pack ay may crash so big pile up so nakalusot ako <laughs> so nag second ako and then yung yung pangalawang podium ko naman second second pa rin pero ano din may crash din sa harap ko kasi usually pag criterium hindi na ako lumalaban eh kasi uh, uh, yung criterium is very dangerous you can go as fast as 40 miles an hour some can go up to 45 kaya hindi na ako lumalaban unless uh, nasa safe side ako so yung pangalawang uh, podium ko uh, 45 plus may ano din may uh, may crash sa harap ko kaya nakalusot naman ako kaya yun second yun lang uh, pag nagre-race kasi ako pag matapos ko lang yung race happy na ako parang panalo na rin ako especially if I finished with the uh, with uh, the pack the main pack yeah, and I think uh, one of the hardest circuit race I did was uh, in I think it was in Santa Rosa at the uh, there is a, a race car track there pero somehow uh, at that time condition din ako kaya I was able to stay with the with the pack and finish with the pack and I think with a big of a uh, uh, field I was able to finish 12 one of uh, my best finishes na sa malaking pack at saka sa medyo mahirap na course dahil yung race track na yon is uh, rolling ano rolling hills usually pag my climb or incline na the drop ako eh yun know weakness ko kaya pag uh, maghanap ako ng race o magjo-join ako ng race naghahanap ako ng medyo uh, flat o konti lang yung ano yung climb para sigurado maka maka uh, tapos ako with the main pack and then uh, noong kay Rinante we did our ano training very structured kasi alam mo naman si Rinante he was a coach of the Philippine team so at that time nung uh, nagtatrabaho pa ako sa Folsom from Stockton nagko-commute ako I would ride 64 miles or 100 kilometers uh, to work from home or vice versa so sabi niya Frank yan ay endurance ride mo once a week and then uh, mag schedule siya ng ride namin na uh, uh, interval so interval naman kami and then mag schedule siya ng ride na puro ahon climb puro climb naman kami and then mag, mag schedule siya ng uh, ng very slow ride slow ride lang talaga walang ano walang speed walang effort that was uh uh, not even a recovery it was more of a spinning so he would make me uh, spin 100, 100, 100 220 rpm on a low gear so for a while we did that kaya ang lakas ko noon eh uh, because of Manuel Renante so, so talagang pag may coach ka if you're serious about racing, it really helps pag may, uh, pag may coach ka eh. Kasi structured yung training mo eh. Yung hindi ko lang talaga ma-improve ma is yung climb. Yung talaga yung weakness ko. No matter what I do or no matter what I did, I just could not climb. Saka even sa, sa overpass. So ngayon, tuloy-tuloy pa yung ride. Tandana, uh, my last race was in Modesto two years ago. I did the uh, 45 plus, Masters 45 plus, but at that time I was already 60. 
60 years old racing with the uh, 45s and 50 so it was really hard so the first few laps I was able to stay with them I see it was a uh, road race na, uh, I think nine mile per lap about 36 kilometers I think that's all I need for now after more than four weeks of no ride I think 20 miles is just perfect 